Because if I was just a, an average guy who wanted to do daily living functions, I would be recovered. But to get back to a high level of athletic activity, that's a different story. I've played college football, been an athlete my whole life, um, never had great mobility. Progressively over the years, my mobility got worse and worse. The doctor, they did some MRIs, told me that I had some torn labrums. I wanted something that was gonna have no limits on my, if I wanted to squat 500 pounds again, I could do it. The surgery was the easy part, you know. I go to sleep, I wake up, and it's done. So right away, as soon as you wake up, you're walking, right, and moving. So I was like, wow, this feels good. Man, if it goes like this, this is gonna be a nice, easy process. Well, that didn't last. Week five or six was probably my first time back in a workout, you know, with the, with the group class, and I had to scale it. I could um, maybe jump a little rope, but I couldn't do double unders, the regular jump rope, so I would scale to that. I couldn't run, I could ride the bike, you know, and so I have to put the seat up kind of high, you know, that, and I'd bike instead of running. I knew from the beginning that I would have to have both hips done because both of them were bad. Two days prior to the surgery when I was in Seattle, had to go for a COVID test, I was running on a treadmill and I got it up to about seven miles an hour um, running on a treadmill. So I felt really good with the hip at that point to have the second surgery. Surgery happens, but that's the easy part. The doctor does his part, he puts everything back together, but, that, but after surgery, the recovery is where the real work begins. Every day, for two months, three months, and then getting this much progress and doing all this work for this much results and not knowing when the next results are going to happen or if they're going to happen. You know, in the CrossFit Games, they have the adaptive athletes. I understand what it takes to train that way and to do those things because I'm not able to move like I want to move and how frustrating that can be. So I look at those people now and I'm like, man, that, like, doing one arm double unders, you know, when you don't have an arm, you know, what it takes to, to do that and to adapt your skill set to move your body like that. You know, I never thought about that before. Don't take your mobility for granted because as you age, that mobility is going to decrease. And if I can give you any advice now, work on that mobility now because it's gonna be the most important thing. I don't care how much you can squat right now at 25, 30 years old, because when you get to 45 and 50 years old, I don't, it's not going to be how much you squat, it's can you get down to the bottom of a squat. And if you can't, it don't matter how much weight you put on the bar, because you can't, you can't squat it. But if you can move and you can squat down there, now you have the ability to still train. So I've learned that results come with a lot of work and a little bit of result. To get my strength back to where I was, it's going to be a, a year minimum, probably two years to get back and beyond where I was.